Secret sauce. <laughs> drive through loving. Oh. Drive, drive through loving. Baby, I'll drive open the window. Here through. you go. Thank you. Come drive again. Through, I, I will catch you. you. <laughs> and why is McDonald's still counting? This is really insecure, isn't it? Forty jillion, eighty million, zillion billion, killion, tillion. What, 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 what is this? Does it mean anything to anyone? Eighty-nine billion sold. Okay. I'll have one. I would love to meet the chairman of the board of McDonald's. Just say to him, "Look, we all get it. You've sold a lot of hamburgers, whatever the hell the number is." Just put up a sign, McDonald's. We're doing very well. I don't need to hear about every goddamn one of them. What, what is their ultimate goal? To have cows just surrendering voluntarily or something? Showing up at the door. We like to turn ourselves in. We see the sign. We realize we have very little chance out there. So we're going on the highway. We've been on the road for like three hours. And in the distance, we see a McDonald's. We see the golden arches. And we got so excited. We started chanting, McDonald's, 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 McDonald's. And my dad pulled into the drive-through. And we started cheering. And then he ordered one black coffee for himself. <laughs> and kept driving. And you know, as mad as that made me as a little kid, in retrospect, that is the funniest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. How perfect is that? He had a van load of little kids and he got black coffee. The one thing from McDonald's no child could enjoy. Gotta be a good cook. I didn't realize my mother was a good cook after I moved out of the house. When you're a child, if your mother doesn't take you to McDonald's, you don't think she can cook. And I have one of those mothers, you know, no matter what you want, she has the ingredients at home. You say, Mom, I want to stop and get some McDonald's. She go, I got hamburger meat at home. Because I want McDonald's hamburgers. I'll make your hamburger better than McDonald's. You go, better than McDonald's? That's right, when you get home, you can help Mama make it. You say, shit, that. Bet, better than McDonald's. You must say, okay, go get me a big black frying pan from under the stove. So you hand the big black frying pan, and she said, now while you're in there, I want you to go get in the refrigerator, give me the chopped meat, and while you're in there, get me a green pepper and an onion. And you said, ain't no green peppers in McDonald's. I'm not making McDonald's, I'm making your mama's burger, and I need a green pepper and an onion while you're in there, give me an egg out too. What you need eggs for? I want hamburgers. You make an egg McMuffins. I'm not making an egg McMuffin. I don't even know what no damn egg McMuffin is. Just give me the egg out and just shut your mouth. And she take the egg and the green peppers and chop the green pepper up in big chunks. Don't even dice it. Big chunks of green peppers and onion and mix the egg in and put paprika and all this shit in it and make a big meatball and put it in the middle of this frying pan. And McDonald's, the meat is this thin. Your mother's shit is like this. It's fat with green peppers hanging out of it and shit. And it's a big split in the middle and grease is popping out. And you're looking at it while it's popping. You're looking at the grease in the pan. And you're thinking to yourself, that don't look like no McDonald's. <laughs> then you must say, go inside the refrigerator and get me, get, go inside and get me the bread out the bread box. And you go look in the bread box and you say, Ma, I don't, we don't have no hamburger buns. All we have is Wonder Bread. <laughs> That's what I said, get the bread out the bread box. You gonna put it on square Wonder Bread? <laughs> God damn it, bread is bread. You better bring me that bread before I slap you in your mouth. Don't tell me some, some Wonder Bread. What's that bread calls him? Tell me some shit about Wonder Bread. This is Wonder Bread. A hamburger is a hamburger. As you make it and put it in the middle of square Wonder Bread. At McDonald's, they use buns. The meat covers the whole bread. At your mother's, the meat's right in the middle of the bread. With grease running through the middle, making the bread stick to the plate. Now, there's big green peppers hanging out the top of this big meatball on the bread. And you try to put some ketchup on it. And the mix with the grease, turn the bread into pink dough. Then you grab it and get fingerprinted, and you got big pink fingerprints in the dough, and you stand there looking at it, and you try to make it look like McDonald's, so you rip the edges off around and make it round, and you got green peppers and grease running down your hand, and your mother say, now go on outside and play. And the other kids got McDonald's. They outside go, we got McDonald's, hamburgers, 
Make the nose, make the nose. I got make the nose. You stand there with this big house burger. And kids are honest. They say, eh, where you get that big welfare green pepper burger? And you cry. <laughs> My mother made it. And long slob. When little kids cry, some long slob come out their mouth and it hangs this far to the ground. And it won't break. And adults stand around going, that slob gonna break? And it won't. The wind can blow. That slob's like, ah. You know where you can see kids crying? I do it all the time. I'm sadistic. I like to go to the supermarket and watch mothers lose it and beat the shit out their kids. <laughs> do you go into McDonald's? You might go in there later on. You might need a poo. <laughs> Have you noticed how underneath McDonald's it still says restaurant? <laughs> Who's that for? <laughs> Who doesn't know what McDonald's do? And also, restaurant. Is it a restaurant? Really? <laughs> You guys are a couple, right? How long have you been together? A year and a bit. Okay, so long-term relationship, a year and a bit, you've been together. How annoyed would you be, madam, on a scale between one and fucking very... <laughs> ..if next Valentine's he said to you, uh, Yeah, I booked a restaurant, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I spoke to the maitre d'. Yeah. Ronald, I think his name was. <laughs> he was either the maitre d' or a five-star general, cos he had the whole bit, aren't he? <laughs> I've organised a table for two and he recommends the filet fish <laughs> You'd fucking kill him, wouldn't you? And who doesn't know what McDonald's do at this stage? You'd have to be living underground for 25 fucking years. <laughs> Vasi stars. <laughs> Hamburger. <laughs> Schnitzel. <laughs> Schnitzel for the fritzer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got stopped outside of McDonald's. This guy said to me the other day, he said, this cheap food is only made possible by GM farming, cruelty to animals and the exploitation of workers in the third world. I said, all right, hold up. You had me a cheap food. <laughs> I'm going in, there's no need for the hard sell. <laughs> All that other stuff is just a bonus. <laughs> Last month, an 80-year-old Albuquerque woman was awarded over $2 million in damages from McDonald's after she spilled some of their coffee in her lap and suffered severe burns. As a result, McDonald's this week has put a warning label on its coffee cups that read, Caution, do you think you can manage to avoid pouring it directly on your crotch this time, you senile old hag? Think you can manage that, huh? You know what it is? This is just the ramblings of someone who's sliding into the back nine of his life, and I'm not understanding half the shit that's going on. You know? But you know one of the big things that really made me feel old was when McDonald's started making salads. <laughs> that literally ripped my heart out. I'm like, they're, they're doing what? what? Now they have wraps, and they're doing all of this shit. You know what it was? was I shape people complain to them. That you're like, oh, you don't have any healthy options. It's like, dude, this is McDonald's. This shit is poison. Who the fuck comes here to get in shape? Whenever I get McDonald's, I have a whole plan. At my age, I'm 48 years old. I know what I'm gonna order. I'm gonna go in there, it's gonna taste great. 20 minutes later, I'm gonna wanna kill myself. And then I'm gonna go, I'm going to the gym tomorrow. I'm going to the gym tomorrow. And no matter how much I say that, I woke up the demon in me. I woke up the demon and all that grease is just coursing through my veins. And no matter how much I want to go to the gym, there's going to be this other voice going, dude, get an Egg McMuffin. Go down there and get an Egg McMuffin. And I'm going to sit up like the Manchurian candidate. Okay, we're going to McDonald's. It's my in-shape voice is in the back going, no, what are we doing? Go to the gym. And I'm just <laughs> going to drive right down, right? I know what it is. But somehow, out of shape people somehow got, that made them, they're the fucking blame. They had to have more healthy shit because they're the reason why everybody's fat. How come they have to do it? What about Ben and Jerry's? How come they don't have to put a little kale in their ice cream? Why is that? <laughs> oh, because you're a couple of hippies, man. They're like making ice cream. They're going after big bad McDonald's. You know, it's just, who the fuck goes to McDonald's to get in shape? 
And don't give me that horse shit that eating healthy is, 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 is expensive. It isn't. Go to a fucking supermarket. They're throwing the vegetables at you. There's celery. Get it the fuck out of here. 70 cents. 25 cents for a banana. Whatever the fuck you want. Get it out of here before it goes bad. No, it's fucked up. They somehow convinced them that, that you know, McDonald's is the reason why I'm out of shape. I would have got a salad, but you didn't have the option, so I was like, well, I guess I gotta get 52 Big Macs. <laughs> Thanks a lot, McDonald's. It's like, dude, you're an adult. It's not their job to babysit you. They're a fucking business. If you order 50 sandwiches, they're gonna give it to you. It's your job to not do it, you fucking dope. Right? I know. Sorry. I know. Yeah. Dude, McDonald's, McDonald's exists for two reasons, okay? It's for drunk people and it's for children, all right? That's what this thing is. You know, you're in your car, your kids won't shut the hell up, you go to the drive-thru. You go to the drive-thru, you get a couple of poison burgers, you throw it down their throats, their little systems can't handle it. They start... <laughs> they start nodding off. And you're up front, you're bigger, you can handle a bigger dose of poison, you know what I mean? Pop in your Death Leopard cassette, you have a little moment for yourself. <laughs>